G'day, I'm down here in Melbourne. I've come down here to go snapper fishing with my old mate Ben Sandman. But before I hit the water, I wanted to find out a bit about Honda outboard engines. I'm here today with Steve from Honda at Honda's uh, engineering facility in uh, Melbourne suburbs. So Steve, it's been almost 50 years since Honda built its first uh, four-stroke outboard engine. I'm thinking, mate, there's probably a few changes that have happened in that time. Absolutely. The principle of the internal combustion engine remains the same. However, the modern engine now is obviously lighter. Uh, it's more powerful, uh, larger engine capacity, and it has things like um, VTEC, uh, Blast, etc. that we'll go into a bit more later. So Steve, this is Honda's 60 horsepower four-stroke outboard. I uh, understand this little engine has got the Blast technology inside it. Could you explain what Blast is and how it works out on the water? Yeah, certainly, Jim. Essentially, um, to get the boat onto plane, you want to do it as quickly as possible. Um, so what we do is we advance the ignition timing uh, much more aggressively than previously. We add more fuel and obviously we get more power out of the engine. This is actually an industry first. So mate, once you're up on the plane and cruising, uh, what happens then? Do you still get that uh, four-stroke fuel efficiency? Okay, once the boat's up on the plane and you've reached your cruising range, you don't need the amount of power that you've had previously. So the motor then, uh, obviously dependent on throttle control, goes into uh, economy mode, mm -hmm. which uh, reduces fuel consumption and obviously emissions. So you're still, you're still getting that essential uh, fuel economy that's, that's sort of integral to the whole four-stroke design philosophy? You're getting the best of both worlds. You're getting the performance and you're getting the fuel economy. So Steve, what horsepower range does the Blast start at? 40 horsepower. 40 horsepower up to the 225? Yep, that's correct. The latest generation, yes. Yeah. And VTEC is a, another big thing I know in Honda cars. It's part of the engine design in Honda vehicles? Yeah, look, absolutely. VTEC's been used. It's actually Formula One technology. It's been around for quite some time. It's been used very successfully in the cars and motorcycles. And uh, back in the early 2000s, adopted for marine. So let's have a look at a VTEC engine. Let's do it. So what's VTEC? VTEC Gym is variable valve timing. It's actually exclusive to Honda. It was developed for Formula One racing years ago, uh, more recently developed for motor vehicles and motorcycles and then marine. So what does it do? Gives you more power at the higher RPM range. So you can go faster? Yep, so you go faster. Cool. So uh, four strokes are well known as being really fuel efficient. Uh, but anyone who's into boating and fishing understands that petrol is getting expensive and it's probably going to get more expensive. What can Honda offer to allow um, users to maximise the uh, fuel efficiency of their engine? On the later engines, we have what's called NMEA 2000, which is an industry standard. Um, what that does is it allows the customer to work out their best cruising range for, to maximise their fuel consumption and to maximise their distance travelled. So you can link that into your depth sounder, GPS plotter, that sort of stuff? Yes, absolutely. And it's 100% accurate 100% fuel use? 100% accurate, straight out of the electronic control unit. Yeah, and that's relatively easy to set up and use with the yeah, Honda? Yeah, absolutely. It's all plug-in. Yep. Mate, I've got an appointment with some snapper in Port Phillip Bay, so I've got to go. Um, the boat I'm going to be fishing out of the Sabo is actually powered by a 200 horsepower Honda, so it'll be really interesting to see how the blast and eco mode and so on work out on the water. Thanks, Jim. I hope you get a few out on the water today, mate.